Hello everyone, welcome to Mad About Cards and Crafts. Today I'm thrilled to be participating in the Save the Crafty YouTuber hosted by Justine Hovey. The Save the Crafty YouTuber Hop is a celebration of card making video tutorials created by a group of talented crafters of all different styles. We're coming together to give our viewers a chance to discover other amazing card makers and help reach help them reach their monetization goals. Justine started this hop back when YouTube changed their policies and we are so grateful for her support to our small channels. As you hop along we have many prizes on each of the stops. My prizes are the Catherine Pooler inks. I'm giving away two of them so if you leave a comment in the box below you will have an opportunity to win those. You do not have to comment on each of the hops to win a prize, but the more times that you comment, the better chance you have of winning. This is open both domestically and internationally. So we are so excited and so thankful for all of our sponsors. Today my card features products from Gina K Designs who is a sponsor in today's hop as well. I am starting by coloring up a stamp called Vibrant Blooms. This is uh, stamped in Gina K Design warm glow amalgam ink so that I can get some no line coloring. I have many Gina K design stamps. I particularly love the florals that she has and this is one that I have not colored up yet. I am using some Alta New water brush pens. They have bright vibrant colors this particular color is Desert Night and it's from the Tropical Fiesta set. All of the um, inks that I use on this card is going to be from that Tropical Fiesta except for one which will come from the Winter Wonderland but I'll let you know which one that is. What I'm doing is I am laying down some of the color as I said, it's very bright and concentrated. I wash off my brush with some fresh water and then I just run my brush down the petal. petal. I'm using a silver brush um, paint brush. I had to think about that, brush paint brush. And I am skipping some of the leaves, or some of the petals, excuse me, so that I can give them a chance to dry. I believe that that right there is a number four brush. So I just lay down the color and I put some more water down to uh, spread out the watercolor and I get that vibrant look. So you'll see that I put a little bit of more, I put a little more color in the center and draw that out and then for some of the petals I'm adding some depth by deepening in between the petals as well. This is a beautiful color. I, um, I purchased these I think last year and I was super thrilled with the results and have just fallen in love with them. It's a really nice and easy way to watercolor. They're easy to no line watercolor with and so that's why I chose to use them on this particular card. In the description box below is going to be Justine's channel, a link to her channel. The drawing for the prizes will be on April 10th. You have until April 5th to hop along and comment. So there are a lot of participants in this hop and you have a couple of weeks to watch the videos and I would really encourage you to do so. There are some talented women on this hop that you may not have seen. There are some tried and true that have been around and are just masters at uh, crafting such as Justine and Laurel Baird. Um, Courtney Kieber is, is hopping along and 
um, there's there's just a multitude of just wonderful crafters and a multitude of youtubers that you may not have seen and so please I just you know encourage you if you like their content to subscribe leave comments um, hit the like button hit the bell if you want to receive notifications of their next videos and um, you know this is just a, a very supportive community and I'm super thankful for that I did color that leaf I'm only coloring a few of these um, flowers and leaves I started with sweet leaf and then I intensified that sweet leaf color once I had washed it out once and now I'm adding some turquoise to the leaf to just give it a little bit of depth and um, interest this second flower I'm starting with the turquoise also from the tropical fiesta set I use the um, Desert Night and the Turquoise interchangeably with the remaining flowers so that I have a little bit of variety. The center of that um, blue, the first flower that I colored, what I put citrus in that. It's called Citrus Burst and that is from the Winter Wonderland. So that is the only that is the only pen that I used from another collection of Altenew. As you could see, that pen had not been started, and all you need to do is unscrew it, take out the yellow ring, and then you squeeze the um, body of the pen. And as you can tell, you get a lot of ink when you first start out. I probably squeezed it a little bit more than I needed to, but that's okay because I can just draw from that. I wanted to add a little bit more color to the center of my flower and so I added that brown which is called paper bag in um, just a just a light touch of that to add a little bit of depth to the center of that flower I should have also mentioned that when you're commenting below please note whether you are from the United States or you are international that way we can award the prizes accordingly um, some of them will be will be given gift certificates and others will actually be mailed their prizes so if you could just do that we would greatly appreciate it as you can tell, one of the things that is is nice about watercoloring when you have a stamped image is the ink. You can see that in some of the places the ink is drawn and you're getting some of the texture that was actually in the stamp itself. So even though I'm no line coloring, there's a, a depth to where the ink was laid and I'm going to get a little bit darker color so that helps add a little bit of texture that I might not have drawn in myself unless I was um, doing some of that flicking which I do do a little bit of flicking when I come in with the darker color but not so much when I am just laying down the initial color this is just a really beautiful set. There have been, um, if you haven't been over to Gina Kay's website, I will link it in the description box below. She, she just has, one, she has a talented group of, um, a, a talented design team that have just fantastic skills with paints and colors and she also has a great team of illustrators and so her releases are always fantastic um, her products are always top of the line so I encourage you to click the link below and just check out her shop and um, hopefully you'll be inspired by some of her products 
I did go in here. You can see I put on my um, Tim Holtz glass mat some of that Desert Night that I used on the first flower. And I am just going to add some to the center and down some of the petals to give it a little bit more interest and depth. And I took a picture of it because I wanted to see what it looks like. A lot of times um, you think something looks good and then when you take your picture of it, it doesn't look as good as you thought it did. And so I always like to take a photograph of what I'm doing so that I can kind of get a better idea of changes that I might need to make, de deepening of some areas, maybe, you know, my naked eye thinks that it looks fine but I actually missed some areas. This is a little sprig of leaves and I started out with that sweet leaf and I am also did a little overlay with the turquoise again to add a little bit of depth and color to the project and I'm doing this the same way I laid down the color I concentrated the ink at the bottom of the leaves I washed my brush out and then I um, I just draw the paint out to get to lighten it up towards the tip of the leaves and I am going to use my brother scan and cut to cut out these flowers I will not use any foam tape when I lay them out because I didn't want any dimension that is a penny black elegant stitched frame set and so I went ahead and took the middle piece out that middle piece is um, I believe it is three and five eighths by four and a half and then I cut a separate panel that is going to be uh, three and three point six two five by four point six two five and I am going to take the Gina K designs um, oh my goodness it is called elegant script and I am going to ink it with her, her blue raspberry and in the navy ink I don't ink the whole stamp I don't want the whole I don't want a solid stamp I want to just have a little bit of that layering that elegant stitched panel I ran through my Uchida paper crimper and just crimped the paper so that I got a little bit more texture and now I'm going to lay out my flowers you can see the other two that I had painted in the same watercolored I should say in the same manner and I don't have any press and seal and so I thought I would use this piece of painters tape or purple tape but it just didn't have enough stick to it so I end up rearranging all of the flowers uh, again and again I did not put any foam dimension or or anything on there that is a freebie from Gina K designs that I got um, that they mailed to me and it didn't have a name on the stamp set and I so I apologize it's it was just a little free set that they had sent me and I could not find a name for it anywhere but I am going to uh, stamp it using the um, let me think about this the blue raspberry ink and I, I will stamp it three times using my misty so that I can get it into the grooves of that corrugated paper I didn't want to stamp it before oh actually I'm using the um, in the Navy the darker the darker ink so that's in the Navy and it says birthday wishes so I didn't want to stamp it and then do the crimping and so I I did it in the reverse these are some honeybee stamps uh, clear um, 
what are they called, dew drops from the Americana collection and once I put those on that will be my card. I want to thank you so much for hopping along. I'm going to use my gel pen to just put a little bit of white dots in the middle to add a little bit more dimension and I will call it good. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a final look at my card. Please hop along and thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.